This is an adult event at the Exploratorium, which is, the Exploratorium is notorious for having wonderful children's events and total cacophony. So we're hoping that tonight's event will be a little less cacophonous with, with a, a, a lot of people passing through and seeing instruments by different instrument makers, and you'll see them all through this room, different instrument makers who like to design and build their own instruments and do some pretty cool and crazy stuff. When I was younger, I learned some traditional instruments, and then when I was in grad school, I basically decided that I didn't want to follow other people's rules, and so I built my own instruments so I could make my own rules about how to play them. When I was a little kid, I used to like to take stuff apart and then try to put it back together, which usually meant I created something new. But I've been building my own instruments, I'd say, for 20 odd years. These are a, a few instruments that I created recently, sort of two coinciding obsessions, trying to fit everything into a box to make it really easy to transport, and then also trying to make things as versatile, and in this case, modular. So I want to be able to make an instrument that's really easy to transport and can make like as many different sounds as it possibly can all in one box. These two are the no-strings guitars, so you can see this is a guitar, but it has no strings. And what's really kind of the, the key, or the, the main aspect of an electric guitar, are the pickups. And so what this does is just uses these two pickups, and then I have these modules that can fit in. And... So different guitars get different things. I can take this module over here, and I can put this module with springs in place. And now we get the sound of amplified springs, or we can do the sound of amplified bicycle spokes. And even cooler, this was a side effect that I didn't anticipate. When you shut the lid, the entire surface becomes amplified, so you can do things like play your egg slicer. A lot of really interesting and creative instrument designers that are very interested in found objects. And I would much rather really think it through from the ground up and design from the ground up rather than depending on found objects. Uh, starting from first principles when possible. I'll amplify, you know, things in nature with, with different kinds of uh, contact mics or hydrophones or things like that, but most of the stuff I do is, is using just kind of things I've found around in different places. This one I've been using for a long time. It's uh, just amplified measuring tapes. Um, you can bend them, it, uh, but it gets really loud. And uh, I'll just keep them up like this. But this part here, uh, you can attach the measuring tapes to it, and you can bend them to change the pitch. Or you can make some nice kind of gong-like sounds uh, using using the, these mallets made out of balls that I got from a dollar store. 